السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته with the second episode with Muhammad peace and the blessings upon him today we will tell some information about our prophet's life Muhammad's wife Khadija and uncle Abu Talib both died in 619 the year thus being known as the year of sorrow with the death of Abu Talib leadership of the Banu Hashim clan passed Clan passed to Abu Lahab, a tenacious enemy of Muhammad. Soon afterward, Abu Lahab withdrew the clan's protection over Muhammad. This placed Muhammad in danger. The withdrawal of clan protection implied that blood revenge for his killing wouldn't be exacted. Muhammad then visited Taif, another important city in Arabia. He tried to find a protector, but his effort failed and further brought him into physical danger. Muhammad was forced to return to Mecca. A Meccan man named Motim ibn Adi and the protection of the tribe of Banu Nawfal made it possible for him to safely re-enter his native city. Many people visited Mecca on business or as pilgrims to the Kaaba. Muhammad took this opportunity to look for a new home for himself and his followers. After several unsuccessful negotiations he found hope with some men from Yathrib later called Medina the Arab population of Yathrib were familiar with monotheism and were prepared for the appearance of a prophet because a Jewish community existed there they also hoped by the means of Muhammad and the new faith to gain supremacy over Mecca, the Yathrib were jealous of its importance as the place of pilgrimage. Converts to Islam came from nearly all Arab tribes in Medina. By June of the subsequent year, 75 Muslims came to Mecca for pilgrimage and to meet Muhammad. Meeting him secretly by night, the group made what is known as the Second Pledge of Al-Aqaba, or in Orientalists' view, the Pledge of War. Following the pledges at Aqaba, Muhammad encouraged his followers to emigrate to Yathrib, as with the immigration to Abyssinia. The Quraysh attempt to stop the immigration, however, almost all Muslims managed to leave. Muhammad's followers were initially few in number, and experienced hostility from Meccan polytheists. To escape ongoing persecution, he sent some of his followers to Apicenia in 615, before he and his followers migrated from Mecca to Medina. Later, in 622, this event, the Hijra, marks the beginning of Islamic calendar, also known as the Hijri calendar. In Medina, Muhammad united the tribes under the constitution of Medina. In December 629, after eight years of intermittent fighting with Meccan tribes, Muhammad gathered an army of 10,000 Muslim, of 10,000 Muslim converts and marched on the city of Mecca. The conquest went largely uncontested and Muhammad seized the city with little bloodshed. In 632, a few months after returning from the farewell pilgrimage, he fell ill and died. By the time of his death, most of the Arabian Peninsula had converted to Islam. 
the revelations that Muhammad reported, receiving until his death from the verses of the Quran regarded by Muslims as the verbatim word of God on which the religion is based. Besides the Quran, Muhammad's teachings and practices sunnah found in the Hadith and Sirah are also upheld and used as sources of Islamic law. Muhammad's Migration to Medina A delegation consisting of representatives of the 12 important clans of Medina invited Muhammad to serve as a chief, a chief arbitrator for the entire community due to his status as a neutral outsider. There was fighting in Yathrib, primarily the dispute involved its Arab and Jewish inhabitants, and was estimated to have lasted for around a hundred years before 620. The recurring slaughters and disagreements over the resulting claims, especially after the Battle of Bawaith, in which all clans were involved, made it obvious to them that the tribal concept of blood feud and eye for an eye were no longer workable unless there was one man with authority to adjudicate in disputed cases. The delegation from Medina bledged themselves and their fellow citizens to accept Muhammad into their community and physically protect him as one of themselves. Muhammad instructed his followers to emigrate to Medina until nearly all his followers left Mecca. Being alarmed at the departure according to tradition, the Meccans plotted to assassinate Muhammad. With the help of Ali, Muhammad fooled the Meccans, watching him and secretly slipped away from the town with Abu Bakr by 622. Muhammad immigrated to Medina, a large agriculture overseas. Those who emigrated from Mecca along with Muhammad became known as Muhajirun, immigrants. Muhammad establishes Medina, the new community. Among the first things Muhammad did to ease the long-standing grievances among the tribes of Medina was to draft a document known as Constitution of Medina, establishing a kind of alliance or federation among the eight Medinian tribes and Muslim immigrants. From Mecca, this specified rights and duties of all citizens and the relationship of the different communities in Medina, including the Muslim community to other communities, especially the Jews and other peoples of the book. The community find in the constitution of Medina, Ummah had a religious outlook also shaped by practical considerations and substantially preserved the legal forms of the old Arab tribes. The first group of converts to Islam in Medina were the clans without great leaders. These clans had been subjugated by hostile leaders from outside. This was followed by the general acceptance of Islam by pagan population of Medina, with some exceptions, according to Ibn Ishaq, this was influenced by the, by the conversion of Sa'd ibn Mu'adh, a prominent Medinan leader to Islam. Medinans who converted to Islam and helped the Muslim immigrants find shelter became known as the Ansar or supporters, then Muhammad instituted brotherhood between the immigrants and the supporters, and he chose Ali as his own brother. Following the immigration, the people of Mecca seized the property of Muslim immigrants to Medina. 
War would later break out between the people of Mecca and the Muslims. Muhammad delivered Quranic verses permitting Muslims to fight the Meccans. According to the traditional account, on 11 February 624, while praying in the Masjid al qiblatayn in Medina, Muhammad received revelations from God that he should be facing Mecca rather than Jerusalem during prayer. Muhammad adjusted to the new direction and his companions praying with him followed his lead, beginning the tradition of facing Mecca during prayer. These are Quranic verses. Permission has been given to those who are being fooled because they were wronged and indeed Allah is competent to give them victory. Those who have been evicted from their homes without right only because they say our Lord is Allah and were it not that Allah checks the people some by means of others there would have been demolished monasteries, churches, synagogues and mosques in which the name of Allah is much mentioned and Allah will surely support those who support him indeed Allah is powerful and exalted in might in March 624 Muhammad led some 300 warriors in a raid on a Meccan merchant caravan the Muslims set an ambush for the caravan at Badr Aware of the plan, the Meccan caravan eluded. The Muslims, a Meccan force was sent to protect the caravan and went to confront the Muslims upon receiving word that the caravan was safe. The Battle of Badr commenced, though outnumbered more than three to one, the Muslims won the battle killing at least 45 Meccans with 14 Muslims dead. They also succeeded in killing many Meccan leaders, including Abu Jahl. Seventy prisoners had been acquired, many of whom were ransomed. Muhammad and his followers saw the victory as confirmation of their faith, and Muhammad ascribed Quranic verses of the period. Unlike the Meccan verses, dealt with practical problems of government and issues like the distribution of spoils. The victory strengthened Muhammad's position in Medina and dispelled earlier doubts among his followers. As a result, the opposition to him became less vocal. Pagans who had not yet converted were very bitter about the advance of Islam. Two pagans Asma bint Marwan of the Aus, Mana tribe, and Abu Afaq of the Amr Ba'auf tribe had composed the verses taunting and insulting the Muslims. They were killed by people belonging to their own or related clans, and Muhammad didn't disapprove of the killings. This report, however, is considered by some to be fabrication. Most members of those tribes converted to Islam and the little pagan opposition remained. Muhammad expelled from Medina the Banu Qayquan, one of three main Jewish tribes, but some historians contend that the expulsion happened after Muhammad's death. According to Al Waqidi, after Abdullah ibn Ubay spoke for them. Muhammad refrained from executing them and commanded that they be exiled from Medina. Following the Battle of Badr, Muhammad also made mutual aid alliances with a number of, of Bedouin tribes to protect his community from attacks from the northern part of Hejaz. See you soon in a new episode about Muhammad peace and the blessings be upon him.
goodbye and good luck.